doctor is in. That's right, Dr. Omnibus is back doing a, another episode. This time we'll be talking about spine health. Uh, proper maintenance is important for your larger collected editions like an omnibus. If you don't take care of them properly right when you get them, then they might fall apart for you while you're reading them the first time. Uh, so uh, we're gonna crack this thing open. As you can see, this is a brand new copy of the Infinite Crisis Omnibus. It's pretty big, clocks in at well over 1400 pages, if I recall correctly. I'll be able to verify that once I open it up. Um, I think it's 1480. Uh, it's larger than most Omnibus. Uh, it's the second largest one I have, I think, with the Final Crisis being the largest one that I have. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you how to relax the spine. Um, which helps maintain the strength of the glue and prevents it from, or maintain the flexibility of the glue, I should say, and helps prevent it from falling apart. So, tear into this. I might talk a little bit about anatomy of an omnibus as well. Touch on some of the things that I spoke of in the first video. Uh, all right, so now that we've got it unsealed, what you want to do, you want to lay it on its spine and open just the covers. And you may be able to hear this popping sound. That's why we want to do this. You want to get all those creaks out now. <clears throat> and then you just grab a few pages from each side and you drop them, you push them down. You grab a few pages, you drop them, and you push them down. And you do this until you get through the entire book. I try to not look at it while I do this because obviously I haven't read this yet. And I don't want to see spoilers at the end of the book or the middle of it or anything like that. So I generally uh, just look straight forward while I do this uh, so that I don't see, see what's going on in here. And every time I pull back one of these, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it, but you can hear the pages creaking. And that is the glue on the spine, relaxing. It's, uh, over time, you know, it's grown hard and you've got to get some flexibility in there. If you don't do this, then that glue splits or it can split. And once the glue breaks, the signatures fall apart. Now a signature is a section of pages that are folded into this and then sewn together. Um, and once they start falling apart, the book becomes practically unreadable and you risk the whole thing falling apart. It's really only a problem with larger omnibus. Uh, <clears throat> You don't need to do this with, I, I do it with all of mine, but it's not as important to do with, you know, thin omnibus, like 600 page ones, stuff like that. But uh, just to be safe, I do it with all of them because I intend to read mine over and over again over the years. I would like them to not fall apart. It's unusual that I have an omnibus this big and that you can get the pages to stand up like this. It's very helpful. Now, what you don't want to do, once you start getting into the middle like this, you don't want to push down real hard. You want to give it a little push, but if you push too hard, you risk breaking that glue and the signature separating. And it's not all too important that you uh, keep the two sides perfectly even because that's not 
how it's going to be when you're reading it. Uh, but you want to do this two or three times on larger omnibus. And, and hopefully when you do it, you're not getting all the exact pages open. <clears throat> so now I will close it, stand it up, and do it all again. Um, I'll do it much faster this time though. <clears throat> and once I'm done, I'll show you the spine, or we'll look down the spine with the camera, and you'll be able to see exactly what a signature is. And aside from that, there's not too much to the maintenance of an omnibus. Uh, but I will give some tips on some things to do while you're reading it to help prevent damage. And since I'm doing this so fast this time, I am looking at it a little bit, but not too concerned with getting spoilers in the middle. I, I'm not super familiar with DC, so, uh, you know, there's probably characters in here I don't even know. All right, so now I'll bring it up here. Alright, if you look down here, you may be able to tell there's all these little white dots. Each of those are the center page of a signature. So it's pretty much just a comic book laid in here. And then over and over and over again, they're all sewn together. <clears throat> and while we're here talking about anatomy, this black strip right here is called the ribbon. It is completely decorative. Uh, sometimes these will separate from the signatures. That is not a problem. People often see it and think that their omnibus is falling apart, but it's not. And that can easily be reattached with some uh, pH neutral glue uh, called PVA glue which most people don't have, but you can get a huge bottle of it on Amazon for $10. So I would imagine you can get a small bottle of it uh, for pretty cheap as well. And <clears throat> on larger omnibus like this, you know, they're too heavy to hold and read. I mean, you can, but you would really get a workout after reading 50 pages or so. Uh, so generally when I'm reading a large book like this, I sit at a table like this and read it. This table is actually a perfect height. I've never read at it, but maybe I'll start. And <clears throat> I've never seen an omnibus released that didn't have a dust jacket. I always take them off when I'm reading it to make sure that I don't, you know, damage the dust jacket itself. Because this is what maintains the shelf appeal, which I'll do a separate video on. Um, so I like the books to look nice on the shelf, so in order to maintain that, you've got to not have damage on your dust jacket. And a lot of Omnibus have really great graphic covers under the dust jacket, so it's nice to see that art and not have it wasted. And I think that's all the good doctor has for you today. Um, so, I'm signing off. Have a good night.